going out there in the DFS community, it's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I get into the good and the okay that happened in DFS tonight, let me get into my positive word. And my positive word for this fine morning is teamwork. After watching the NBA Finals and seeing the Golden State Warriors defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals. It was a it was a good finals. You know, Cleveland gave all they had. Um, you thought Cleveland was about to make a run to push this to game six. And then you saw the teamwork of Golden State. You saw unsung guys just, you know, believe in each other. Like Durant, you know, made a couple great plays. And Draymond Green, who was being ridiculed for not having a good finals, made the two key plays in the game to me when he made the two passes to Iguodala to put the game away and he got a couple key rebounds. The team just fought. They stayed together as one and they won as one. In today's society, we have too many individuals. Everybody wants to, to be the next this and next that and think they can do it on their own. Well, let me tell you one reality about life, ladies and gentlemen. There is no self-made anything. Any millionaire that you see is a team made millionaire. Without teamwork, the dream won't work. You know, if you want to get a car, some bank will give you the loan. Some job gave you the money or some book or something showed you how to obtain your finances. So anything in life, think about teamwork. In a marriage, it takes the husband and the wife. You know, so being an individual will lead to loneliness, despair and brokenness. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there with teamwork. All right, but let me get into the into my DFS and let me go with a recap of my four horsemen. All right, Porcello gave us 15. Philly blasted him. And Mondano, remember I told you, we was hoping he would give us something. He gave us a zero. And Moreland gave us a 9.2. And we got a six from Blackman. So four horsemen didn't do good tonight, but hey, in DFS, it happens. You gotta take the good with the bad. All right, now let me just say this about pitchers. Guys, as far as Strasburg, I put him in two lineups, but I didn't actually play him for myself because what I thought actually came true, Atlanta does well against him. If it wasn't for his strikeout potential, he would have got destroyed. Atlanta hits him well, and I thought that he might have gotten over that, so I put him in two lineups because a couple of people were like, I hope you got a Strasburg lineup. And I knew that DeGrom was going to be a better pitcher. So this would be the last time that I won't just go with my gut in my lineups. If I just had DeGrom in all of our lineups, that gives us another 23 points. And we go from 154 to 170, from 133 to 166. So, hey, I learned just like you guys learned. All right, so now let's go with, with my value plays of the day. All right, I picked Goodwin, guys. Low, low tier guy, low on guy. He was the minimal price player for Washington. He gave us 34.2 points. Hedges was a was the catcher for San Diego. Another minimal price player. He gave us 25.7. Ben Attendi, I knew he was gonna go off. He gave us 28.2. Judge, well, I mean, what can you say, man? This this guy's one of the best baseball players that I've seen in the past 10, 15 years. He already has, he now has 22 home runs, guys. He gave us 34.6 on the evening. All right, and I had scores tonight. Um, lineup one came in at 133.5. Lineup two came in at 154. And lineup three, where we didn't get any hitting in lineup three. And it happens in DFS, guys. It was a 104.7. But still on my bad night, I still get over 100 in all my contests. And if anybody's been following me, I typically get... 170 or above about two to three times a week. I normally get a 180 or above about two times a week. I normally get a 190 or above once a week. I typically get a 200 about two times a week. I haven't had a 200 in two days, so I think tomorrow we're going to hit that 200 point mark. We're going to have a phenomenal day tomorrow, guys. But like I said, in DFS, you got to take the good with the bad. But as far as with the with the good, if anybody played the head to heads, the 154, you cashed in most of your head-to-heads. I won my head-to-heads with a 133.5 and with, with a 154. Like I said, I didn't even play the um, the um, the one with... I didn't even play one of the Strasburg lineups. 
because my lineup, I actually had DeGrom as the pitcher, and that one gave me a 138, and I won my head-to-head -head with that lineup. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you like what I did. You can hit the like button. You can subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I'm on to today. And don't forget to win-win, guys. You give people what they want, and they'll give you what you want. That's teamwork, all right? And don't forget to think and ink. Anything that you can think about that you want to do, dreams, desires, or whatever, write it down so it can become reality. All right, I'm on to today. Love you guys.